Hi everybody, this is Pramita here. I am back with the second session of prep with me sort of thing. And as you can see, I've just, I've not glued this down. I've just put these stuffs, stuff over here just to make sure that they look okay once I put them down. So what I've done is I've just glued up bits and pieces that I was uh, having in my stash. And now I'm just going to use two more stuff. This is actually from a paper pad. I'm not sure, maybe Maggie Holmes uh, or Chamel. Uh, I have just cut out uh, these circles that had been on the paper and I'm going to use them uh, over here just to tuck these stuff up, just to make it a little bit quaint. I'm going to uh, cut off the extra portion later on. Till then, I'm just going to stick this over here. So, uh, let me glue this up. This is just to add a little bit of color to the thing because otherwise this page is looking pretty dull. So that's one of the reason why I'm adding this. I don't want this page to look too dull and I'm going to add a little bit more glue over here. Remember I didn't put any sort of glue at the edges because I was going to tuck, th tuck things up through the edge. You know, I didn't want that to be glued up totally. So that's that and I have this blue butterfly once again from a paper pad. Um, I'm going to use this over here. So this is going to work out fine I hope. I had this stuff all cut out from paper pads and uh, I'm going to place this butterfly like so. So and it's looking okay I guess. Now for the part of washi. If I want to put some washi, I can put it at the bottom or at the top, but I think this paper is busy enough, so I don't want to put too much. Um, and I will just show you what kinds of washi that I tend to use on my journals, usually when I'm working with vintage journals, vintage style, sorry. So this is my washi box, vintage washi style. and. Um, Mostly they are from Tim Holtz or um, you know the ones that I bought from our atelier. Um, she has an awesome collection of washies. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I am just going to tear off a bit of washi from here. I just do it by hand. I want to keep it very organic and uh, not very particular about it so I'm going to put this and I want to put another one so I don't use the whole strip like that I just chop off the necessary bits and I'm going to put it at an angle and there it is yeah so that's that I might add a little bit of strip washi over here I'm not sure I have some uh, this is from my friend Terry. She had sent me a few vintage style Tim Holtz washi and I'm so grateful to her for that. Uh, and I use them quite often in my journals. As you can see, I just keep on adding stuff till I find that it's okay and I don't need them anymore. Uh, sometimes you might find that they are a bit overdone. That's up to you how you want to see things. Uh, but uh, I find it um, a cluttered mess sort of look much better. This is once again another butterfly washi that I'm going to use at the bottom. You can see. Yeah. So I want to take this off. Washi being very forgiving, I find that I can fix this up. I'm going to put this over here first. And then I'm going to put this yeah so now it's looking okay now some sort of symmetry is emerging and I want to put something over here just to balance out because I have done something over here so I have a little bit of this was I think from some uh, subscription of Coco Daisy I'm not sure but um, I'm going to use that I tear up washi by hand mostly when I'm using in my journals I'm not very really fussy about that okay and that's how my page is looking uh, I hope uh, I get to see 
what I've done get to see what I've done so and if I want to write something extra I can always add a tip in over here and uh, make it work so on this page I, I will work through this later on um, and that's how I prep my pages and um, I might prep this page too but it might require a little bit of extra time so I hope you like what you're watching uh, I have this stack of uh, scraps and I'm going to use some of them as you can see I'm just not so fussy about the paper I'm just going to tear it apart and use it use it like so so I'm going to tear up this part just to make it a little bit symmetric so I'm going to now when you're tearing the paper remember how much white you want to show you can do it two ways either you can pull it away from you or pull it towards you when you're pulling away from you then you get less of white showing through so that is another trick that I have learnt so I can layer this up like so and yeah so I'm going to sh just show you quickly how I can prep this page too I hope this works out fine and I'm not getting very fussy about this page because I don't want to layer too many stuff over here otherwise it's going to take up too much of time so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer this page and I have this ruler sort of thing I'm just going to smoothen out the glue so that it doesn't come off yeah and yeah so, and I am going to you what add this as you can see I'm just tearing apart the pieces you might look horrified but that's how I work I just tear up things with my hand and I find this works out better and it's okay sort of thing so I'm going to add this over here at the bottom see how it's looking so and I'm not going to glue this too much I'm just going to put a little blob of glue at the back I know this looks horrendous but that's how I work and I work pretty quickly when I am sitting down with my supplies because I don't have a fixed workspace for my crafty stuff and when I sit down I tend to make a bunch of layouts and then keep them till I use them so I'm going to use a little bit of washi to give it a pop this is a stamp washi that I have these are all from our atelier you can check her out uh, if you want I can s post a link to her shop so this is how I'm going to use the washi I want to make it very random and if you having if you have or journaling washi half of the job is done because you don't need to work so much um, that's how I found that if you are running out of time you can easily make your page look very attractive with the use of these washies and as you can see I'm tearing up random bits and using them like so and I want to use something over here too so that it builds up the whole picture so I'm going to tear this up this is now I'm going to use this and some of this washi also uh, this is not from La Atelier, our atelier this is from Coco Daisy and I am just putting one sorry one washi on top of the other this is a very frenzied layout you can find but it works very well and it and I love these frenzied sort of thing you know they are so random uh, this is a map washi that I have once again from our atelier and these white washies are absolutely heavenly and what I do is sometimes I just put them like so and sometimes I just tear them up with my hand because basically washi is very fine quality paper so and I'm going to use them over here I hope you can see them how I'm using it 
yeah and i'm left with this so i'm going to tear this up too i'm going to use it over here and this will go at the top so so that's that that's how my page is looking i hope everything is okay yeah and now i can go back and journal over here if i need extra space i can always add a tag or a tip in or anything of that sort so that's fine by me and i hope uh, prepping two pages uh, must have given you some ideas about how i prep my pages so bye try these tricks and see if you can come up with some better ideas and see you next time bye